So in today's video we're going on a big journey because we just left Porto de Galinhas in the Brazilian state of Pernambuco and we're about to drive to Maceió which is in the state below called Alagoas and then from there we're gonna get a bus to Bahia Salvador and how, how long is the bus? 10 hour Yeah 10 hour bus ride it's gonna be during the night so yeah hopefully we'll be able to sleep and uh, yeah arrive in Salvador Bahia rested so yeah, that's the plan. Show a travel day for once. Usually we kind of skip the travel and only show the places. But yeah, every now and again somebody says, uh, "Oh, why don't you show us the the traveling as well? It's part of the experience, right?" So that's what we do. Probably show you a bit of Salvador at the end as well. So that's the plan. Now we've already driven about 40 minutes. We've got the the screen hooked up to the phone, so we're using Google Maps. And it's going to take about three and a half hours overall to arrive in Maceo. And we're going through like the countryside. So everything's really nice. This here is all sugar cane. So just sugar, sugar cane plantations non-stop. So that's one of the main parts of the economy of Pernambuco. It's the sugar cane plantations. And some of you might have heard of the Brazilian alcohol drink. That's kind of like a vodka. It's called uh, cachaça and they make it out of sugarcane so yeah i'm guessing a lot of these plants are used to make cachaça as well The car that we're in right now runs on either ethanol or gas and the ethanol price is 5 AIs 40 per litre and the gas is uh, 6 AIs 40. 127,70. Thank you. Thank yeah, so the other day to fill the tank pretty much completely, it cost around 250 hei, so that was like for a full tank, it was almost empty. All right, so this is it, the airport drop off, but we're not leaving by airport, but this is how we arrived in Maceo. What's that, Movida? Yeah. Yeah, that's the company that we booked in, booked with, Movida. So the airport here is still far from the center of Maceo where we're going to get our bus. So we're going to get an Uber and that shows 28 reais for about 30 minutes. So I think everywhere in Brazil has Uber. Uh, big cities, yes. Yeah, because yeah, like Sao Paulo had it, Rio, yeah, big here. Cities, yeah. yeah, so that's good, nice and easy. Yeah. So this is the bus terminal in Maceo, pretty big bus terminal it seems. So we reserved our tickets online, right? Yes. So we just need to find the store. Yes, that one over there, we need okay. to go there and get the tickets. Alright, that's some cool artwork. I love Alagoas. All good? Yeah. <laughs> going to start speaking Portuguese. It was easy. And how much is the ticket? We didn't mention. Uh, 164 reais each. Each? Yeah. 
Okay, and uh, that, the plane ticket, how much would that have been? Oh, it would be more than 500 per person. Okay, but the plane would take an hour, probably. Yeah, but I hope we can sleep well, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we got 10 hours to try and sleep. Yeah. yeah. So I decided to get a bite to eat just before we head out. So I got something unusual. I got the tapioca that I always get, the cassava. But inside it's uh, chicken and coconut. Not sure if that's something from this region, but I never thought about chicken and coconut together. We'll see how that tastes. And I also got the cashew juice as well. And I got another one of these as well to take on the bus. So for two tapiocas and that juice, it was 28 reais. All right, let's try coconut with chicken. <laughs> Very, very unusual mix. But is it too sweet? The coconut? Is it sweet or just plain? No, it's sweet, but I don't know. It adds. A, it's a really nice mix, actually. <laughs> um, at first, when I bit into it, it was like really the chicken flavor. But then after a while, you just get this sweetness because of the coconut. It's nice, though. It's nice. Weird mix. Funny because we didn't see that anywhere else in the northeast, right? No, maybe it's just because you said you couldn't have cheese, so they just they were like, that okay, coconut, coconut then, then. <laughs> instead of cheese. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That's right, good. Yeah, better than I was expecting. <laughs> So this right here is the sleeper bus that we're going to be getting on. Double decker, I didn't know it would be two floors. I think we're going to be on the top row. We'll find out soon. That's the company, right? Hotter. Yeah. Hotter, okay. Is this us? Yeah, five, six. All right. But loads of space, yeah, right? Spacious. And you have to... What's that? Oh, to rest your legs on. It's a big coach as well. So the coach has awesome leg room. I mean, me and Carol are pretty tall. I can completely stick my feet out. And I guess even use this if you want. That's pretty good, actually rest your legs and this coach does have a bathroom as you would hope for we have been on some long distance coach trips in many other countries that don't even have a bathroom so yeah that's always a plus <laughs> I slept like a baby. Carol didn't. No. <laughs> How many hours of sleep? Probably just three hours. Three? Yeah. I'm dead. I'm not like a zombie. A zombie? Yeah. I think I slept like eight hours. Yeah. Pretty much the whole way. So we're at our apartment now that we booked on Airbnb for $40. When we arrived we ended up taking a nap for a few hours since we were still tired from the, the bus ride but now we're gonna head out. So this is the view from the apartment. I think there's a beach right down there, we'll check it out soon. And that's a bit of a glimpse of the neighborhood we're in. And it's a really good feel for $40, really nice apartment. So this is the dining table with the living room area and the kitchen all joined together and then over here is a bathroom and it's pretty different because it's actually two floors but when you arrive this is the top floor so you actually have to go downstairs to the to the bedroom area so we have another bathroom here and then this is the bedroom that we're staying 
good as well. So the neighborhood that we're staying in is called Rio Vermelho. It's supposed to be a kind of like a bohemian neighborhood, which we usually like. And we're right on the coast, so obviously another huge benefit. So this is the first beach closest to our place, Praia da Paciência. Got some nice like orange style cliffs over there. So there's another beach to the left, an even bigger beach. Man, it's windy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how the weather is gonna be tomorrow, but I think it's supposed to rain in a few days. Yeah, but I don't think today is gonna rain. I think it's just gonna stay like this, like very cloudy and windy. Yeah, the days that we're actually going to the beach destinations in the state of Bahia, the weather forecast horrible, so we'll have to see how that goes. So that was that first beach down there, and then, yeah, right next to it, this even bigger beach. So right near the beach area, there's this place called Lago de Santana, which seems to have some historic nice buildings here. Got the old style Portuguese church. Who, who are these guys, Carol? is Jorge Amado, famous Brazilian writer, and he is from Salvador. Oh yeah? And the, the lady is probably her wife, his wife, I don't know. Yeah, Zélia Gatai. Yeah. Oh, they got a nice doggo as well. <laughs> so in the next video here in Bahia, we're gonna go to the main historic center of Salvador. That's like the most famous part to see here. But yeah, even other areas like the area we're staying in, you still get the the old Portuguese buildings around. So I think in general Bahia is a lot more colorful than uh, Rio, right? Yes, I think so. The area that we're planning to go tomorrow, Pelourinho and the historical park is very colorful. You guys want to see the video. Yeah, but even around this area it's already more colorful. A lot of the Portuguese buildings in other places like Rio and Minas Gerais are white, like the normal Portuguese style. But yeah, I think here they paint them. Still got the sidewalks here though, with the designs. Just like Rio. That's the same design as Copacabana, I think. The waves. We found this local spot to eat at here. It's a bakery, which they call Padaria in Portuguese. So we've got loads of different sweets and breads here. And this one is also like a convenience store. So yeah, they sell other things like wine other kinds of foods and our breakfast cost uh, 30 reais I got this banana vitamin shake drink here 
and I got another tapioca with frango chicken. And you got an orange juice? Yeah, and that? French bread with egg and cheese. Yeah, French bread is really common in Brazil, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's like the, the main bread. For breakfast. For breakfast, for everything. Yeah. And Carol also has a coffee, so yeah, 30 reais for all that. I remember in São Paulo it costs like 60 reais yeah, so in a fancy, like a fancy bakery. So here things are cheaper than in São Paulo and Rio de Janeiro as well. Yeah. So we decided to get some of the snacks from the bakery. I got this uh, broa de aipim, which is made from cassava. And Carol got pão mineiro, which is like a cheese bread. So mine was six ninety one, and Carol's is five. I also got some uh, tea as well, ginger and lemon, and chamomile. That's five reais, and this one four twenty five. Continuing our walk around the block. Got another nice old church here. Some ceramic designs. Is there more beach this way? Yes, I guess it continues uh, along the coast. There are different beaches, but I don't know. I think uh, in this area, the main ones are this one, Praia do Rio Vermelho, and Praia da Paciência, the other one. The two that we the saw already. We saw, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so there is a, another beach there, but it doesn't look as nice really. We saw some surfers around here, so yeah, I guess people surf out here. You can see some waves here. It doesn't look very good now, but yeah, there were people with surfboards, weren't there? Yeah, we saw a guy. So this beach is full of fishermen everywhere. All these guys are fishermen. These guys bring in the boat back. And that guy's messing with his net, fixing his net up. So the apartment block that we're staying in, I think is this one here. So yeah, really close to the beaches. So that's it for the quick tour of our neighborhood. Since we're kind of tired from all the traveling, we weren't planning on doing much today, but yeah, still got to see quite a bit. From the drone, kind of seems like Rio, where it's a mix of poor neighborhoods and like super rich neighborhoods all in one. Like as I was flying around, you just see these poor looking areas and then big fancy hotels and um, yeah, even places with like swimming pools and stuff right next to the poor areas. So yeah, that's kind of how Rio is. I think even Sao Paulo, a lot of the big cities in uh, in Brazil are kind of like that. And I didn't mention about the bus travel. It was 825 kilometers overall. So three and a half hours between Porto de Galinhas to Maceió and then ten and a half hours from Maceió here to Salvador and the coach was really good it's probably one of the best coaches we've been on since we've been traveling around a lot of the times uh, we do get on some really dodgy coaches even for long distance coaches that aren't comfortable that don't have leg space that don't have good bathrooms and this had all of that so yeah really good and in Rio the coaches are also good as well so I'm thinking like throughout Brazil the coaches for long distance travel are very good and yeah definitely recommend traveling that way and in the next video as I mentioned earlier we're gonna head to the main historic center which is the famous part here a part called Pelourinho so looking forward to exploring there tomorrow 
If you like this video, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next video.